second coming. This is the second coming. This is the second coming of a major fire. This is the second coming. This is the second coming. This is the second coming of a major This is Wake Up LA. Thanks for joining me. I'm Anita Elliott on 89.4 FM, the University of California's only intelligent talk radio. Well, we've been waiting for the swing vote to pass that gay marriage bill, and it looks like it's just swung. Uh, hello, this bill was supposed to pass. Can I have the real news? You've got the news. No, come on. This is not a good joke, you stupid sophomores. This is not a good joke. I'm not kidding you. Give me a copy, the real copy. Oh, fuck. I don't believe this. That guy changed his fucking mind. <clears throat> God, um, I'm so out of here. Yes, uh, w- uh, sorry for the interruption. Uh, find out what all the fuss is about when Wake Up L.A. returns. Sorry for rushing out. Wait. I, I can do this. Right? What, I'm not the kind of girl you take home to mom? No, no, it's, it's not you. I, will you stay and have a cup of coffee with me? You understand that, it, that it's not going to be you and I anymore. Right? I mean, once we, once we tell my family and we tell our friends, and if my fans find out, I just, I want things to be how they are now. I want this to be you and I. I want, I want this to be anonymous. You want to clue me in on this mysterious holding pattern you've created? No? I've got to get to school. Jordan, do you know any lesbians? That word. (laughs) Do you know any out gay people who have ever won the Oscar? Your family. They're human beings, no? No. No, you have not met my brother. He is not human. Well, even aliens don't like secrets. Okay, well, that may work for you. (laughs) Hello, I would not have my American dream. Your priorities are in the wrong order. Health, others, wealth. Health, others, wealth. In that order. No, it's wealth, health, and the best thing. Better be good, Troy J. Linton. Oh, Jesus, sir, I hate that color ID. It's so annoying. Make it fast. I have a list a mile long for you. Oh, that brother of yours. He wasn't so darn cute. I'd like to personally take a noose and tie it around his neck. Sarah? What? What the hell are you 
you halfway trying to sound mad about? Your brother. The court appeals needed Judge Holmby's vote to pass the gay marriage bill. He voted against it. Bastard. Couldn't even do it for his own queer sister. Sarah? Are you in there? Oh, I forgot. You're not queer, but your girlfriend is. I need a car to take me to my parents' house at 6 o'clock tonight. Okay, if I'm still alive, you'll be there early, real early, probably 6.15. Um, call Clayton and cancel my lunch tomorrow. And book me an early flight to San Francisco for the Manifest Destiny Press Junket. Um, get me out of that five-star hotel and book me a goddamn room somewhere. <laughs> Sorry, go on. Book me a room somewhere obscure. Try Alcatraz. Thank you. Do you know what the American dream is? The American dream is 10 million blacks swimming back to Africa with a Jew and a queer under each arm. <laughs> For you. What? Nothing. Have dinner with me tonight. My parents. No. Is he taller? White, rich, what? He's a Buddha, isn't he? Ah! Oh. Ah! Oh. <laughs> White Buddha man, take my woman. <laughs> I think you missed your calling. It's funny you say that. My sister used to make up these skits when we were young, you know? And she used to say that I was gonna be the next Sidney Poitier. And that she was gonna be the first female black Supreme Court judge. She's very smart, my sister. It's funny how things turn out, you know? I am starting to believe that there is some other guy. Yes and no. Well, Buddha Man is probably a better choice. I didn't choose. Great. So then you'll come and meet my parents. <laughs> you'll love them. Dad's a hoot. He creates these board games. Well, they're actually pretty good. And Alicia, she's kind of out there. She takes her cues from the mystics. Alicia, that's my mother. Now, can you imagine, from the time that we were young, she insisted that Sarah and I call her Alicia, never mom. Oh, and there was the time that she changed her name to Supadra. But... Sarah? Sarah Austin, my sister. You know, she's the actress, famous. I mean, she's just my sister. Hello, Professor. Are you trying to make me disappear or? Sarah's brother. Oh, great. Another fan. Oh, today is not a good day to be Reese on the bear. Reese, this is very complicated, Reese. No, no, no. I gotta go. It's fine. Look, just let me explain. No, I gotta go. Take care of yourself, okay? Well, can I ask you a question then? Why not? This day can't get any worse. Three priorities in life were health, wealth, and the welfare of others. What order would you put them in? You mean others as in family? Yeah. Well, family first, health second, wealth third, why? So then your decision about gay marriages might have been different had it affected a family member? Jordan, I did what I know was right. 
I kept the original concept of marriage in order. I was not thinking about anyone else. Shakyamuni Buddha rocks, huh? Hey, Sering. Hey, Professor. Uh, Reese, this is Sering. Sering, this is Reese. Oh. Nice to meet you, Judge. Nice to meet you. So. Oh. Isn't it what Buddha said? Yes. Yeah. See you soon. the negative forces. Okay, here's a game plan. I thought we'd start out with the Chessaker game, then a little rolling for dimes, and then maybe not so trivial pursuit. No, no, no. To row reading before he goes into session. Session? Too late for that. Too late? You could have channeled every darn psychic out there and they all would have said the same thing. Reese needs structure. His safety lies in knowing that things have a sense of order in a precise place. In his mind, marriage is defined by the union of a man and a woman, period. Hey, don't you want to taste my kick-ass jalapeno cornbread? Jalapeno and habanero chili. Kick ass, huh? Jesus Christ! It's a red marble ball from the gem show in Long Beach. Why didn't you get the stand? Well, they didn't. They didn't have one. Oh. Oh, it's nice. Very. Your sister is here. <coughs> hey, Bob's going to kill us or what? Good, huh? Hey, Sarah. Hello, kitten. I stopped by your house today. Where were you? Unannounced. So you were there. I was busy. Oh, that's so rude. Hey, you shut up already. What? What's your problem? Uh, don't tell me what's rude and what isn't rude. Oh, whatever, Sarah. Cut a one martini. So, you pretty much fucked your gay supporters. Sarah, you know so very little about politics. 
and even less about the enormous amount of pressure I've been under since this whole Supreme Court nomination process has begun. I know a whore when I see one. Oh, please. It's true. You do anything to get that treat. It's history. I bet it is. So what's going on in your life, Sarah? Aren't you dating some guy? What's his name? It's a girl's name. It's Jordan. Jordan. Well, that's funny. I know a woman named Jordan. How's your Jordan spelling? All right. What do you want to know? I'd like to know the truth. Okay, like, like, do you fucking think? That when you and Troy played doctors when you were little boys, that, that he went home to his mom and dad and said, that's it, that's it. I want to be a doctor when I grow up. I want to suck dick when I grow up. Huh? I mean, do you actually think that we... Do you actually think that he chose to be queer? I never played doctor with Troy. You did so. Unequivocally not. You did so. All right, all right, Sarah, that's irrelevant. Now, I decided to vote against that bill because I had an epiphany, a realization, if you may, Sarah, that, that, well, for all the shame and unhappiness that accompanies such a lifestyle, I can't imagine anyone wanting to be a homosexual. Why? Why? It is not the order of things. Things. The order of things. Who the hell wants to be these things? My point exactly. So have you ever entertained the idea that it might be genetic? Oh, trust me, I did. And I cannot find anything to support that assertion. Not one single modicum of evidence. Modicum. Sarah, the incertitude that I encountered. Sarah! Sarah! Also known as Jordan, is my boyfriend. My Jordan is your Jordan? I'll take secrets for 200, Bob. Pops. Sarah, I'm shocked. Does everybody know about this? Your mom knew. Of course she told me, so I knew. You guys both knew about this. God, this is so unfair. Wait, wait, my Jordan is your she's Jordan? She's not your Jordan, okay? She's mine. I met her first. You did not. That's so. How do you know? Because I was there. Okay, fine. When did you meet her? I met her last year. She's been my mentor through this whole selection process. Last year is when I met her. I really appreciate watching my children regress into this adolescent behavior. It gives you a sense of youth. Exactly. <laughs> a year ago. That's right. That was six months ago. I met her when she was a visiting professor my freshman year, so there. All right! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry I'm late, darling. Hope I didn't miss any of the good stuff. Looks like I'm right on. Time. Hello, Alicia, my love. How are you, darling? Hey, Perry. No fucking way. Hey, Reeks. 
Do you know what the American dream is? Troy. Judge Holmby, do you? Troy, fucking stop it. Your would-be sister-in-law is quite gorgeous, isn't she? Walking encyclopedia with feelings, no less. Unlike a certain judge. What's the matter? Cat got your hypocritical tongue? Troy, you're fired. Okay? Sarah, well, it's all right. No. It's all right. The American dream. Come on, everybody, let's go play a game. Good idea. Sure. Let's go. Let's go. She's on the phone, as usual. No, I didn't change my mind because I was on the fence. You see, everything has order, and it's all about understanding that order. Now here, I conquer cities. I buy up all the real estate. I can even beat the munchkins on Shady Lane here in this house of games. I succeed. I succeed and I need no one. I need forgiveness from no one. Now being on the fence would have meant that I, I didn't understand that order. Marriage is a union between a man and a woman. Love, love. Love has allowed you to be together. You do not need to change that order. Oh, I'm sorry, but that's the way I feel. Let someone else win for a change. <laughs> you too, Alicia. Yeah, really. Alicia psychic and Perry made up all the questions. <laughs> How fair is that? I know. One more turn and I win. And I never, ever win here. All right, here's the question. Daddy. Good one, huh? No one is ever gonna get this one. Okay. In 1956, Ella Fitzgerald recorded an album featuring Cole Porter's Best. The 11th song on the album has Ella assuming the gods must be what? Gay. The gods must be gay. <laughs> say something Not a word. Isn't there some song about no. cocaine and cyanide? It must be high. We're all high. Mm -mm. <laughs> It's coming, I feel it. Shh. Alicia, you can't. How did she know? I'm telling you, it's queer. <laughs> I got it. It's not. <laughs> Ella assumes the gods, but, but I think she means everybody. Everybody must be. In the. No. Hey, Your Honor, come sit next to Dr. Troy. Thank you.